What's up, One Right Hip Hop? It's Jamel Lamar here, and today we have a special interview. Now, usually we do a lot of dope artists and uh, musicians, recording artists, that's a better way to say it, recording artists, uh, or producers, or we do, um, you know, just a, 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 a lot of that, that scope when it comes to hip-hop culture. But today, we're doing a new scope when it comes to hip-hop. We're doing a true artist. We're talking about sculptor, painter. We're talking about fashion designer. We're talking about a media professional. We're talking about Jimmy Jenkins Jr. of Jim Twice. What's going on, What's brother? Going on, brother? Now, it's, it, it, it's, for me, it's personally, it, 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 it's, I'm happy to do this interview because for all of you who don't know, I am a Mega Everts College alumni. This man right here, believe it or not, was one of my art professors. Right. He was he, and not only that, the 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 Renaissance movement started because of this man right here, because he designed the logo for Renaissance Entertainment. So he's, hey, listen, man, he he he's at, at a reason for a lot of things that when you look at me, that's why it's here. But right now. I mean, you're doing some greater things. Well, I appreciate it, man. I'm, I'm honored to be a part of this and honored that you asked me to, to come and, and do this interview. Oh, man. It, it, right. it's, it, it's only, the, the, I mean, I just had to pay respect. And then I wanted people to see what I, you know, was inspired by and and, and all the influence that you gave me, especially, you know, the colleges. I was a little, 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 little wild, <laughs> a little wild. But, <laughs> but, you know, somebody who taught me originality, like, it's just, to be you, but just and and your strengths to take it and just let it let it be the glow. So, um, I would say one of the first things that that, that I would love to ask is, you know, how do you feel like art? How does it play a role in the hip hop culture? And when I'm saying art, I mean of course like your paintings and your sculpting and stuff like that. Like, how does it play a role in? I think that is 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 um is a part of it in every way. I feel like that it, you, you can't separate the two. It's most, matter of fact, probably if you if you have a conversation with most artists, recording artists, whether they rap, sing, DJ, they probably tell you that they were also a visual artist in some way as well. Mm. They either draw or paint or photography or you know something of that aspect when it comes to what a lot of people traditionally call art <clears throat> because like I, even in my class I always talk about this like art is everything it, it's every like I, my, I teach art history but I like to say that I really teach life history mm -hmm. because really everything that we talk about in class is is touching on every aspect of life yeah not just drawings and paintings and things like that but even the way people believe in yeah. things, you know what I mean? So, um, you know, most of the the philosophies or, or the philosophers of, of history or um, people who were very influential were inspired by visual yeah. arts or, or were even visual artists themselves. So it's, um, when it comes to hip hop, I mean, you know, I mean, one of the five, one of the real elements of hip hop is what? Graffiti. Yeah. You know, graffiti is a visual art, mm -hmm. but people forget even rapping is art. You know, it's, it's, it's word, it's spoken word mm -hmm. that's put against a, a beat or rhythm. And, it, and even it has rhythm depending on how you say your words, you know, different cadences. So that's an art form is, is in itself. The dance, right? B-boy dancing. That's all art. So, and, and. And it, you know when you when you think about that, even presentation yeah. in hip hop in hip hop, you know what I mean. So when you think about um, all the way going back to back in the days, even now, your visual game has to be on point. Mm. You know what I mean. I mean it, it, whether you want to be the person up front or not, yeah. how you present whatever it is that you're presenting. It needs to visually have some kind of stimulation for people to grab onto it, especially in this society. You know, every, I mean, we are visual people, right? Oh, yeah. Beings. We are visual beings. And um, 
I think in, in today's society, especially with the internet and everything, everything is so like 15 seconds. You know, yeah. it's like, you know, very microwavable. You know yeah. what I mean? And <clears throat> one of the things that people have to keep in mind is, so what can you grab? How do you grab somebody to hold them longer than that 15 seconds? You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And um, if if you can, and it's, it goes back to visuals, you know. Um, so, I mean, art is it's, it's part of it. It's like, it goes hand in hand. I mean, it's, I make this joke in class about, and I've seen it said in movies and things like that, but this is real. I mean, think about it. Most young people now even speak through visual uh, media. I mean, as, as far as even the language, right? Yeah. The emoji. Yeah. <laughs> the emoji... The emoji is nothing but the modern hieroglyphic. That's all it is. Pretty much. <laughs> Pretty much. You have a full conversation with just like nothing but emojis. Full conversation. And you know exactly what a person is exactly. trying to say. <laughs> so, you know what I mean? Like, it's part of it. It's part of our culture. It's part of our being. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, um, we have to start to look at, look at ourselves as, as artists. Just yeah. everybody as artists. Because even the way you, you conduct yourself or move or, 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 or when you get up in the morning. I, I even say this in my class too. Like, one of my things that I say, my first things that I say in class is, on, on the first day of school, I always ask the question, who in here is an artist? Because I just want to see who's going to raise their hand. Mm-hmm. And um, I, remember, I actually remember that question because you asked it. I was like this. Yeah. Yeah. So you remember. Yeah. So like I say, who's an artist? And usually only about four people will raise their hand. Maybe four people. You know what I mean? Because they expected me to say they they expected to think, oh, I, well, I don't know how to draw, I don't know how to paint, so that's what they're thinking about. Yeah. And I'm like, no, listen, painting, drawing, sketching, you know, all those kinds of things where people traditionally think about art. That's a small part of art. Mm-hmm. You know, art ultimately is expression, really. Yeah. Because it's subjective, right? Mm-hmm. I mean, somebody might look at this and they say, oh, that's a work of art, versus somebody might say, well. Maybe it's not, or you know, what constitute me coming to a blank canvas and just throwing a line across it, right? Mm-hmm. And, 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 and and people are like, oh my gosh, that's brilliant. Yeah, you know, just a line. You know what I mean? And versus somebody say, well, uh, he didn't do anything. He just put a line on canvas. Well, ultimately, that line has to speak to you in some yeah. way, right? Whether, however, it speaks to you and. You know, whether you like it or whether you hate it or whatever, it could spark a conversation which in turn might even basically uh, uh, fulfill the, the goal that I'm trying to do anyway, right? Is to have a conversation. What what was the line about? What does it mean? What is it well, I, I'm talking about? Is he talking about life? Is he talking about this? Blah, 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 you know? And then then when you get into the commercial aspect of what, light or what art is, then somebody might come in and say, who's influential? And then they'll say, oh, that's art. Mm. You know, put it in a gallery. It's ten thousand dollars. You yeah. know what I mean? And that's when the kind of politics of art come <laughs> into play. You know what I mean? But at the core, basic level of art is expression. Yeah, that's all it is. So uh, going back to that original question, when I ask my students, I tell them at, at the end of that class, I'm like, you know, I just gave y'all your first test. Mm-hmm. Most of y'all failed it. And they're like, what? And I'm like, yeah. I said, but luckily I'm not I'm not giving you a grade. Yeah. But the test was when I asked who is an artist, all of y'all should have raised your hand. Mm. And they're like, nah, but I don't know how to draw. I'm like, no, nah, but look, you played an artist on a small level every day. Yeah. When you woke up this morning and you just went to the closet to choose your clothes, mm-hmm. you played an artist yeah. on a small level. Your body is like a canvas. So mm-hmm. what did you choose today? What colors did you want to put on your canvas? How did you want to, you know match or or not match or mm-hmm. you know what I mean put this pattern on and that pattern or whatever you know what I mean so and that's unique because you know and uh, as you go into that I think like of women yeah. they are like probably the most like aspiring artists because you know to get up every morning and to put on the makeup yes. or to dress your hair yes. or you know and you know their closets a woman's wardrobe Surpasses men's like yeah. a million. Some men, years. some men, <laughs> some men, some men, most men, most men, most men yeah. by like a million years. Mm-hmm. So it's like, yeah, they wear everything. There's certain things that you know most men just don't wear. Like, you right. know, we we wear shoes. They can wear our clothes, their clothes. Exactly. And so and think so. Think of that um, being like a palette mm-hmm. with just 
all these different flavors and colors and textures and patterns. Yeah. That, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, that's what I tell them. So you, you, you're like going to your palette yeah. and choose what you're going to put on your canvas for the day. So like, yeah, I mean, we can't, we can't escape it. Yeah. Art is, is, is in us. It's now, now what, what I would like to, uh, sorry to cut you off. No, 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 go ahead. What I would like to talk about is, is something that's, like me and you have a million conversations about. So what you guys don't know is when I, I said that he, he does sculpting, I'm not sure to really call it sculpting because I, I rather call it building, <laughs> but he does some amazing, amazing pieces with Legos. Now we're gonna show y'all right guys right now. We're gonna show you a few pictures here. But when you every time I show people these photos, and you can see it on his Instagram at Jim Twice, but when I show them these photos, they be like, whoa, he must have took like forever. <laughs> yeah, some of them that did take forever. <laughs> <laughs> Me, I always say, like, damn, why doesn't Lego like support? Like, why don't they say something? Because w what you're doing with their pieces is like, wow. Uh, well, I appreciate that, man. You know, like, like I said, the first time I seen it, I actually, I was this close to, like, grabbing the, <laughs> grabbing the MCM bag and putting it on just to see, like, what, what, you know, what, can, I, can I walk down the street with this? <laughs> but it's something that's just like, you took something from every person's childhood and made it into something beautiful. And you did it so hip-hop. It, it, it's just like the Gucci bag, mm. then the MCM bag, mm. then the Hermes bag, and then, and then you had the, I mean, one of my favorite ones, the one that says love, and it, all of them, like, it, it took you about a million years. <laughs> <laughs> Felt like it. <laughs> yeah, a million years to get done, but what what made you say, like, you know what, I can do, like, the most craziest pieces, and not saying you thought about it, but it was, like, you just, like, you just had it, and you say, like, I'm going to take Lego and hip-hop and merge that together. Well, I'm going to tell you. I'm going to keep it real. I never said that to myself. Mm -hmm. it, it First off, hip-hop is just part of me. Mm -hmm. I can't, You know what I mean? Like, a lot of things I do turn out to get look hip hop. It mm -hmm. looks have a hip hop feel to it, mm -hmm. but I'm not. I'm not doing it thinking, oh, this is this is hip hop. Yeah, you know what I mean. But it's so in me mm -hmm. that it, it that I can't help it. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like like everything I do, you could say it it's been touched by hip hop. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And, and it's just it's just I don't know. I can't. All I can say is I. That's part of me. I mean, I grew up in hip hop. I love hip hop. I mean, you know, I grew up in the days of uh, uh, native tongue. You know, so, mm. so like that whole thing, that whole vibe or whatever. And so it's part of me. I mean, I was even in a band. I was in a punk band. Oh wow! Yeah, I was wow. a front man in a punk band. Okay. And the punk band ended up being a punk hip hop band. Because <laughs> I love punk music. Like, like, like you can't, you can't deny. You gotta, gotta, gotta. Yeah, yeah it's just there. Yeah. So, so when it came to Lego, first off, I love Lego. Mm. I love Lego. Um, I mean, I've been playing with Lego, you know, since I've been four years old, I still play with Lego right now. Play, man. Yeah. You, you get, you, you doing pieces selling for like, I ain't gonna put the price on it, but trust me, like, yeah. you doing some, some big money pieces with Lego. Uh, I appreciate it. Yeah, yeah. But I still play, I actually play, with, I mean, I have three kids, so, okay. you know, it's like reliving my childhood all over again because yeah. I have all this Lego everywhere and of course they want to be part of it, so I play with them. I play, play, get on the floor and play with them. Mm -hmm. But, the first, the first piece I did was the Louis Vuitton luggage stacked. Yeah, set. that one right yeah. there is, oh man. Yeah. How long did it take you to do that that one? That took me a year to build. It looked it look, <laughs> look like it. It took me a year to build that. Um, but I, yeah, I, I, we'll put, I'll show you a picture, of, we'll put a picture up, I guess, of it. But what is crazy, so that came to me in a dream, mm -hmm. straight up. Like I had a dream about building a Louis Vuitton luggage set mm -hmm. with Lego. Now here's the deal. So you know, you know the days. Like one of my things was to have a Louis Vuitton luggage set. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? Yeah. And not to actually use it, but for art. Mm -hmm. Just I wanted to have. I just thought it was fly to have that stacked Louis Vuitton luggage. Mm. You know what I mean? And put yeah. it in your house just like art. You know what I yeah. mean? And not actually use it. And I've, I've always seen people like, I'm sure you've seen like the days of like Kanye West yeah. and like Nigo mm -hmm. and Kardashians, Pharrell, like they have they. <laughs> Pharrell and all them, yeah. 
So uh, I remember seeing Kanye West and Pharrell and Nigo in their house. They would have like luggage, Louis Vuitton luggage, like stacked up, just mm. like just as art. Yeah. And I was like, man, that's just so fly. And the craftsmanship was so crazy. So, you know, that that's always kind of been been in my my kind of like, you know, Your ethos. Realm. Yeah. yeah. It, 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 and and um, but one day I had a, I had a dream and I woke up and in the dream I. I was like, you know what? I want that set so bad. I'm gonna build that set mm. out of Lego. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> like, like I'm gonna make my own Lego, yeah. my own Louis Vuitton luggage set, and I'm gonna do it out of Lego. And I had a dream about it. I woke up the next day. I went into the kitchen. I told my wife. Mm -hmm. My wife was like, "Okay." <laughs> she was like, "You late for work?" I'm like, "All right." So. And she thought I was just joking. Yeah. That day, I started buying Lego mm -hmm. to build the luggage, and I just started, you know. Mm -hmm. And I, you know, I don't, you know, I, I don't know if you know, but Lego master builders, the mm -hmm. people who actually build sculptures for Lego, you know, you see the the Lego sculptures when you go to like a Lego store or whatever. Yeah. Like they actually use a computer program mm -hmm. that tells them how to what pieces to put and blah 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 blah. Okay. Um, I don't have any of that. So, so, so I I printed off pictures of Louis Vuitton luggage sets, uh -huh. and just have pictures. And I would look at the pictures, and I would take Lego and try to figure out how I can make it work. Wow! So the thing was, I didn't want to manipulate, change, or or do anything different mm -hmm. to any Lego pieces. Yeah, I wanted it to be official Lego. Like you yeah. could go and get this Lego and and do it. You know what I mean? And so that's another reason why it took so long to build because one, people don't realize this Lego is is expensive. Oh, uh, yeah, I, I, I don't think that. Well, you know, now they do probably yeah, do because they don't realize that because a lot of times in the first one I would show people they're like, man, that's crazy, and then when I would tell them how much it is, they're like, what? And I'm like, yo, it took blah 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 uh -huh. just the, the money just to build that. Yeah. you know what I mean? Like it's, yeah. it's which is different from like a painting. You know, the painting paint paint is not that expensive. Canvas is the probably the most expensive thing mm -hmm. when it comes to painting, but you know you're not going to spend hundreds and hundreds of dollars on a canvas yeah. unless it's like ginormous, like yeah. you know what I mean. But you know you can get this for less than a hundred dollars, and and um and so when it comes to Lego, it's it's crazy. So that's another reason why it took so long because <laughs> I'm also a teacher. You know I'm no, I don't I don't yeah. pay a whole lot of money, <laughs> <laughs> so I would get a pay. And I have three kids. Mm -hmm. So I don't have the luxury of just spending my all my money on. Trust stuff. me, I, I I got one, and I know. So I, exactly. I, mean, I imagine three. Like, oh man, <laughs> exactly. About something else. So you know, my I, of course my wife would be like, "Yo, you spending how much on Lego? Like, we <laughs> gotta eat." You know what I'm saying? So, so I would like take a little bit from my paycheck here mm -hmm. and there, buy some more Lego here, mm -hmm. buy some more Lego there, buy. and so it took that long. Also. If uh, on on the luggage set, I have a lot of like specialty pieces yeah. that you can't like go to Lego store and get like because yeah. they're in sets. You know what I mean? Oh, so you yeah. have to like buy the pirate set just to get that one little loop thing. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because they don't sell that separately. From, yeah. You know. So I, then I started realizing that as I got as I got deeper into the whole Lego world, like it's it is a Lego world. You know what I mean? Like it's a straight up Lego community that's that's that goes hard. Mm -hmm. They like they're like a, 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 a entity. You know what I mean? Okay. And yeah, it's and it's all. Um, I'm actually part of that that crew now. It's like they call themselves AFOL, A F O L, mm. which means adult fan of Lego. Okay. So um, so there's like different sites that are out there that you can go to and buy Lego mm. that. People have actually gone and bought sets, yeah, and gone through the sets and gathered specialty pieces, yeah, and different colors and all the color of this, all the color of this brick, all the, you know what I mean, yeah, and actually have categorized all the different types of Lego that you can think of, and then they have their own business and they sell to people like me, yeah, who need just that one piece, okay, you know what I mean. So it's sense. crazy, yeah. It's it got makes sense. Just seeing a lot of the pieces that you do from the Gucci bag to the Louis Vuitton. Mm -hmm. Now, me personally, I've always said it is it, is one is one thing I, I I'm hoping that somewhere in the future you do. Okay. I think we we talked about it like a while ago. I'm not sure if you remember, but I you know you know me. I'm a big fan of of DJing. 
And mm -hmm. one thing I, I've, I've always, like, after I seen your pieces, I said, I hope he do a, a, a turntable set, mm -hmm. Tech, the Technique 1200s with the, with the, you know what I mean, the, the, the needle and everything. Yeah. And I remember saying, like, I'll think about it. Because yeah. <laughs> I'll I'll, I'll tell you, it's, it'll be some DJs that's going to be ready to buy that. <laughs> Especially, and maybe, and maybe even Technique, just because, you know, they got the offices. But do you get a lot of um, companies like Louis Vuitton? Or um, Gucci, or um, miss maybe other companies that see what you're doing right now and says, oh, I, I would love for you, for you to build us something so we can place it in our store." You know what? Not yet. I haven't. I've they I've had a lot of those companies comment and mm -hmm. talk about how how nice it is. Yeah. But they haven't actually put a deal on the table or anything like that, mm -hmm. which would be awesome. Like I would love that. I would love to like do a campaign yeah. just built on that. Like or not even a campaign. If I just did an art installation in yeah. like one of the stores, like imagine going to the MCM store and it's like the whole window is done with MCM Lego bags. Mm. You know what I mean? Like all stacked up. Like that'd be mm. crazy. You know what no, I mean? I mean, I, me that would make me just more and because it for me it would. Like y'all appreciate our culture. Yeah. I'm now I want to come in and I want to support y'all. Yeah. You know, cause right now, of course, Gucci. You know, they've done some things that 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 are that are not good by no means. Right. So you know, right now, and, and of course, you know, one on hip hop, we are along with Tip and Tamika, Tamika Mallory and um my son, and right. we're you know three months. We will not step a foot on. No, me personally, I'm not gonna step a foot ever in the Gucci store after that. But. Right. You know, um, just to say, like, to see something like that would probably be, like, really dope because to see them support something that's really, like, you know, our culture, right. we taking something that's smaller than Lego mm -hmm. and making it grand mm -hmm. would be, would, it would be amazing to see. Mm -hmm. yeah. It would be amazing to see. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, and, then, and it's funny you said taking something small and making it grand. That's actually what... So I did a show with all of my bags, mm -hmm. and um, that's what the theme of the show was about. So it was it was me, it, it, you know, all of my pieces, everything that I do, straight off, always has some kind of playfulness to it. Playfulness, whimsical, colorful, happy, fun, but it's always a deeper message underneath everything. Cause um, you know, I'm a, I'm an educator. Like yeah. I, at the end of the day, I also wanna put put some knowledge out there the type of artist that 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 you are you know you pull from your past and then you are you, you involve it into your present but you always look into the future to do bigger and better things so when anybody think of jimmy jenkins jr's legacy what would you believe will be said or or is said as of right now um, you know, I think that that's one of those things that I will I won't know until that happens. But what I would what I would hope mm -hmm. is is that you know you know I can just build on what I'm doing now, and that's you know he he was a good guy. He tried to he <laughs> tried to try to put the knowledge out there mm -hmm. in fun ways. Uh, uh, spreading art, spreading love, mm -hmm. um, and uh, um, positivity, mm -hmm. and definitely trying to um, make aware of the fact that knowledge is power, mm -hmm. you know, and all my pieces, I touch on that, everything, all mm -hmm. this stuff, everything has hidden meanings in it, that's that's about... Like, if you don't see it, you got, got, the, got the, the NASA right here... So it took me a few seconds, a few, few minutes yeah. to, to spot it. But I was like, oh, it's say, say NASA right here. Okay. Yeah, yeah. This is actually the flip of the NASA logo. So if you notice that, if you, do you know that, that NASA logo where it's the blue circle and the red wing and it says mm -hmm. NASA? Mm -hmm. So that's the flip of that, that logo. That logo in the NASA community is called the meatball. Mm -hmm. And um, this piece is called the spicy meatball. <laughs> um, so it's me speaking on just um, inclusion inclusion into the next level of humanity so you know you know i don't know if y'all know you know you know nasa is talking about leaving earth and, and like mm -hmm. colonizing mars yeah and, and yeah. all that and terraforming and all of that and and so one of the things that i was thinking about is like you know if especially people of color mm -hmm. and all other backgrounds because when you look at nasa a lot of times you don't see a lot of people that look like us yeah you know what i mean yeah. and and so you know i'm thinking about that i'm like that's crazy so 
where we start colonizing other places or going other places and they leave us out of that conversation or they mm. leave us out of that off you know we're not sitting at the table of that mm. then that's what happened here on earth mm -hmm. will happen in that next place yeah you know what i mean because again these people are going to be in these other places making laws making governments creating culture mm. and we're not there very true you know what i mean and we're left out of that that next pilgrimage yeah you know what i mean just like when they came over and took the land mm -hmm. here you know what i mean like that's the next pilgrimage you know, <laughs> uh, and do we want to be slaves on that pilgrimage uh, too? No, nah, no, we want to uh, be. We, we want to be on, exactly. We, <laughs> we want to be at that. the table. We want to be steering the ships. We want to be doing all those things as well. Uh -huh. So that's me speaking on that, and that's what all of the different forks okay. mean. So it's like the forks are symbolizing like different cultures, different people, also getting a piece of this meatball. Okay, that's that's that would take it to the next level, and there's only one knife in all of this, and mm -hmm. that that's the split between all of the different people mm -hmm. and the knife has a heart on the handle because we have to also lead with love yeah and everything you know yeah. love is the most powerful force in the universe oh, yeah. so we have to lead in love with all of that so yeah. so everything is is touched on that and i hope that people get that from me when they meet me or when they see my work yeah. they understand that that's the foundation and whatever and whatever i'm doing mm -hmm. and i try to try to do that you know so i you know Speaking of love, too, I want to say this. So I'm starting a new new movement on Monday, the 11th. Mm -hmm. The love, the build love movement. Okay. So I took Leg, Lego logo mm -hmm. and I flipped it. So that's the love sign that you that you like the, when I take the, le, the Lego and I yeah. make love. Mm -hmm. So I took that actual logo and I, and I create, you know, have it say love. Okay. And I'm uh, putting out t-shirts on Monday. Okay. I got got one coming for you. Oh, thank you. And um, I would I would I would it will be in an interview sooner <laughs> than later. And so what I'm what I'm trying to do is put it out there, have people wear this shirt, mm -hmm. so that because when you think of Lego, you think about building, like you said. Yeah. But let's build, and you know, especially in the current climate of the of the administration of of the presidency yes. and building yes. walls and yes. you know the, the tearing each other apart and division and things like that. I'm like, no, let's build love. Let's lead with love. Let's let's step with love. Mm -hmm. So, taking Lego and turning it into love, I'm, I'm that piece is called Build Love, and I want to start a movement with that. And all and I'm, and partial proceeds from the the T-shirt will actually go. Well, I'm, I'm, right now, I'm thinking about trying to um, reach out to uh, Boys and Girls Club, okay, and try to um, build something with them. Mm -hmm. Now I'm officially saying this now. I haven't actually talked to them yet. <laughs> but that's, exclusive. That's that's exclusive. The, that's the idea. That's the idea. So that you know, because also we got we got to get people when they're young. You yeah. know, when you're starting off. Yes. And yes. Um, boy, the boys' club was inf influential in my life when I was a kid. Mm -hmm. I did all of my first sports at at the boys' club. You know, yeah. when I football, basketball, all of that. And so you know, I want to try to get money, take money proceeds partial proceeds from the t-shirt and start to build on that you know yeah. what i mean and give back to them and maybe start some kind of campaign of some sort of of or movement for mm. build love so yeah well i mean definitely one on hip-hop will support it man and Appreciate that. um you know anything you need from us man we we definitely willing to to give you that support but at you know i want to move it to to mm -hmm. so we we talked about you know you as a painter we talked about you as a sculptor now we go on to one of my favorite things is the fashion. We touched it a little bit, but not. But you also got a fashion division to Jim Twice. Yes. And, I mean, some of the t-shirts we're showing right now. Um, I mean, how did that all come about? I mean, I, I know, like, that's probably just like, you know, once again, hip-hop. You know, to be in hip-hop is about being fresh. So, you know, I yes. just... You know, I didn't want to rock nobody else's name. I want to rock my name. <laughs> yeah, it's funny that you said that's the truth. That's how it all started, man. Mm -hmm. I used to have, I used to do that. Like, I mean, that's, I mean, that goes all the way back to junior high school, man. I used to airbrush back in the days. And I used to airbrush clothes for my friends at school in high school. Mm -hmm. They started in junior high school and went into high school. Okay. So everybody in my high school who wanted airbrush stuff, they came to me. I was the only one doing it. Um, uh, and I grew up in North Carolina, so in a small town in North Carolina, so no one was doing that, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? 
And but I have family here in New York, in Brooklyn. So you know, Brooklyn has always been you know <laughs> in my family and in my life. So so uh, it, it, you know, doing hip hop and doing airbrushing, which again is linked with hip hop. I mean, yeah. airbrush. You know, when everybody, when everybody had a fresh uh-huh. like, bubble level letters on your sweatshirt uh-huh. or whatever. You know, I was doing all that, and and um, my mom and dad was like, yo. You should do your own line, like create your own line. Makes sense. So that's how I started. And I was doing people's clothes and I would take people's jeans and dye them out and and bleach them out and then Mm -hmm. airbrush on them, draw on them, do all of that. And it it was never Jim, it wasn't Jim twice. I mean, I've gone through like so many (laughs) different names, it's crazy. But uh, but yeah, and then I even started, I'm a, I'm a, a, a polo fan. Low, a uh, low head. So, <laughs> it's so uh, even back then. So mm-hmm. in in high school, I used to. <laughs> it's funny. I used to take. Le- uh, um, pol- I would go to the polo store and I would buy the cheapest polo thing mm-hmm. I could get because I mean high school I don't have a whole, whole lot of money. Yeah. And I would take the tags off of the, <laughs> of the polo <laughs> or whatever. So if it's like a scar or yeah. something like that. It would have the polo tag. Yeah, I would take the tag off inside of the scarf or the hat or whatever the case may be, and then I would take other shirts mm-hmm. and I would rip the shirt sleeves off and I would sew different sleeves on, or take and then take the existing sleeve and then cut that and then make. I don't know if y'all remember. you remember um like the the tied tied Scully hats. Yeah, that you put on and they had like a tie on the top. Yeah, so I would make those out of sleeves. <laughs> and then I would take those polo tags yeah. and sew those polo tags on the hat. Wow! So then it looked like you had that po- uh, a polo po- um, <laughs> Scully and like polo different polo shirts. And people were like, "Yo, I never seen a polo hat. I mean, a polo <laughs> shirt like that." And I'm like, "Yeah, yeah, yeah." You know, and so <laughs> it, 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 it was <laughs> like I said, originality, man. When I tell you originality, it, 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 it's. That's just says volumes about how he is, man. This is all I've ever known of him. But, um, but that's hip hop, like if you, like that's all you know. Yeah, I think about like man. Biggie rhymes and like you know talking about taking fake polo, uh, making fake polo shirts out of whatever. I was using real polo tags, but I was creating my own shirts that polo didn't actually make. Uh, but it, it was it's funny. You you, you, you know it. one of my favorite uh, shirts. And I, I, I'm, I haven't gotten one, but I really want one. It's a, it's a shirt you did where you used the, um, it was, uh, the, I believe, the Disney logo. Yeah, okay. And when you look at it at first, like, oh, a little, little, you know, he did a little Disney, you know, look. But then when you clearly look at it, we're showing a picture right now. <laughs> when you look at it, you see some hidden messages. Yes. I mean, I for me, I seen stuff about like the history. I struggle. Mm-hmm. I see some things that are going on right now, mm-hmm. and it's like, wow! Like when you really pay attention to the shirt, it's like, I mean, from a distance, it's like, why is that you a little well, Disney shirt? Well, it, I never put it on a shirt yet. You it, had okay, no, it was, okay. It's, it, it was uh, it's a it's a it's an art piece that I was gonna put on a shirt, but I never did. <laughs> <laughs> but, but um, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, it's I like, mean, not nah, that. Like, if you do, I, I'm gonna like. I was, I, you know what it is, and I was trying to figure out like, is he going to put this on t shirt, sweater, or he going to put that on? Mm-hmm. Like, that's something I could actually see on, say, uh, um, one of those nice, um, uh, I'm not saying a quarter, not quarter, right, but cardigan sweaters. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Favorite female MC of all time. <laughs> oh my God. Favorite female MC of all time. Mm hmm. I would think that would be a little easier because, you know, the female dynamic in hip-hop has never been as strong. You know, it's a male-dominated uh, um, business. Yeah. I'll say that. Business. But. Yeah. Oh, man. I don't know, yo. <laughs> like, it's crazy. I mean, because, listen, listen, I mean, Nikki doing her thing. Mm-hmm. I mean, and she she crosses a lot of boxes. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like, her, her game is crazy. Um. But you know, I'm also old school. You know what I mean? Like, you know, you know, before Nikki, that was that was Kim. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And then you know, Kim's crazy. But then you know, I even think about people like 
I don't know if y'all know this, like people like Bahamadia. Y'all know who Bahamadia mm, is? Like, I haven't heard that name. I mean, in come on, like long exactly. <laughs> time. Exactly. Long time. Exactly. And if, if you don't know who that is, do your research. <laughs> Touch up on your hip hop knowledge. Exactly. Bahamadia. I mean Lauren Hill. I mean, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? Like Eve. You know what I'm saying? Uh Eve was crazy, man. Mm-hmm. Um so I mean, listen. <laughs> you notice he's still answering the question, right? <laughs> That's hard, man. I can't. I, it's hard. I'm not even. I'm. I'm gonna be real with you. It's hard for me to. I'm not. I'm not good with stuff like that. <laughs> you know, like my kids would be like, my 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 my, my daughter's like, Daddy, what's your favorite color? I'm like, oh. come on. <laughs> <laughs> That's what, I I don't have a favorite color. Oh, I don't man. have a favorite color. That's crazy. Like, my favorite colors are red, blue, yellow, black. <laughs> so, all colors. Exactly. <laughs> the primary colors and black and white. Oh, like that, And that's that's the truth. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, it's 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 hard for me to just So, have I guess we, that's another one we're going to have to come back to. Oh, man, yeah. This next one is going to even be worse. Oh, my gosh. Favorite. What's your favorite food? No. <laughs> I don't know. It's, it's a favorite. Favorite hip-hop group. Of all time. Oh my gosh. Favorite hip hop group of all time. I'm sorry. If, 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 DJ, if DJ Red Alert, he, <laughs> he had a hard time answering these questions. Yeah. But he, he I, mean, I can them. imagine, though. I can uh, imagine DJ Red Alert. But come on. like, um, I would say my, I could say, and I mentioned this earlier, I'll say my favorite collective. Mm. Is the native tongue which which, which DJ Reller is part of? Shout out to the native yes. tongues. Native tongues, yep, that's my favorite collective. Uh, I mean, obviously they, you know, they that's from back in the days, but that's for me because that was my childhood. Yeah, so I was taught by that, by mm. that that crew. You know what I mean? Like you know, yeah. some kids are being taught by you know other crews now. You know. You know, Migos or whatever it can yeah. be, but for me, like that's that was where I was getting my hip hop knowledge from. Oh you know yeah, I mean? man! You had Das Effect, you had Tribe Called Quest, Tribe Called Quest, Jungle Brothers, Black Sheep, Moni uh, Love, Moni Love, Queen Latifah, mm-hmm. uh, you know, Red Alert. Yes, um, sir. You know, uh, leaders of the new school. Leaders of the new school. You know, like come on, like, <laughs> and then they they kind of like spawned like cousins uh-huh. that were like Chi Ali. Yes. Like, you know, the hieroglyphics. Uh, you know, that whole crew going out going out West Coast, they were all influenced by native tongues, you uh-huh. know what I mean? Like yeah. so that, you know, like I mean, you know, that's like golden age. Oh, you know man. I mean? so, so at least we got we at least we got one answer. <laughs> now now see, usually the next answer is everybody's like, I break him with this next one, but I'm gonna kinda change it for you. The question I usually ask is, What's your favorite freestyle of all time? I usually ask that one, but being that you are more of a a a artist, mm-hmm. I'm gonna ask this question outside of yourself: Who's your favorite artist? Oh my gosh! <laughs> I still got him. Going. <laughs> <laughs> Who's my favorite visual artist? Uh, it could be painter, you know, visual artist. Uh, you know. Oh man. Somebody asked me that not too long ago. <laughs> I was like, come on, yo. I want to say mom, but I want to, I want to, I want to, you know what I mean? Who's yours? Basquiat. Basquiat's dope, absolutely. Basquiat, I love Basquiat, man. Yeah. And and then to know his story. Yeah. That for me was like, yes. that's us. Yes. You know what I mean? Brooklyn. Even through the struggle. Yes, definitely. Brooklyn. Brooklyn. Definitely Brooklyn. Yeah. Yeah, nah, Basquiat, of course, man. Can't front no basket. Nah. Um, Jean Michel. Um. Oh my gosh, yo. <laughs> Bro, I have so many, man. Uh, well, you know what? And they so, speak to me in different ways. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, so, so we gonna have to go back all, all because, so let, because, let's go. you know, like contemporary, you know, like like pop. Pop artists, you mm-hmm. know what I mean. Then you know that traditional kind of like classic stuff, you know. I you know not the you know because I can I can do the Basquiat and like you know uh, um, 
uh, 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 Takashi Mirakami. Mm. You know what I mean? Like people who are doing their thing, and yeah. especially now Takashi. I mean Takashi Mirakami. Like he's like creative. Like I mean it's, it's mind blowing the stuff that he's doing. But like you know, there's like you know I can go back in time to like to ancient his, his, his historic individuals too. So it's like. You know, everybody kind of has a little thing that speaks to me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And it's yeah. hard for me to, like... Because I don't ever sit and say, like, I'm only... I can only... Like, that's that, that's my guy. You're not in one that's lane. That's my guy, you gotta, yeah. you, you gotta have, like, five lanes. I have to, man. I have uh, I can to. Dig, I can dig. And, so it, you... and it's, not, it's not on purpose. It's just that's how my brain is. Like, yeah. Because I, it's it's like when somebody asks that whole question, like, if you were stranded on the island <laughs> and you could only take blah, 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 what would you take? I'm like, Oh my god, I'm not going to the island, yo. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, hey, what am I gonna do? I don't know. Oh man, but you know, we'll, we'll let you off a little bit, man. Oh, well, god, I, I, I understand that's an artist creativity in mind. It, it, it works in that in that rainbow. So yeah, you yeah. can't you can't just be in one lane with it. Now, and I could dig, I could dig it, but. We would love to, you know, thank you, man, for, for giving us this knowledge and, and this time, man. And, um, man, man. you know, let everybody know once again where they can reach out to you as well as, you know what I mean, if, if they want the Pixel Partners or okay. they want some of the Gem Twice clothing or even, you know what I mean, you want to purchase some artwork, let them know where they can reach you at. Yes. Um, my Instagram is Gem Twice. That's J-I-M-T-W-I-C-E. Um, <clears throat> my website is jimtwicestudios.com. That's where you can check me out, hit me up, you know, check out my stuff, um, follow me, you know, see the stuff I'm doing. I'm putting together a crazy show right now. Um, it's going to be, it's kind of, kind of wild. I'm touching on a whole lot of things. It's, it's Lego pieces, it's paintings, it's fashion. Um, I'm trying to put together this film for it as well. Um, so yeah, I'm just grinding and trying to do my thing and and, and support me uh, show me some love I'm start trying to start this love movement this build love movement on on on, um, on the 11th uh, and that's that's what it is uh, and I, and I want to thank you brother ah man nah. trust me man as much knowledge you gave given me through the years this, nah. it, it, it was only right I found some way to to to, to you know give it to a couple of million people out there nah listen <laughs> listen I'm to be honest with you, man, I'm blown away by what you've been doing, man. Like oh, I've right. seen seen you like the progression. Like you just yeah, you're like trying. a rocket, man. And even when you were in my class, I knew you were a star. And it's just awesome seeing you rise and like shining the way you shining, bro. And thank I, I just, you, you know, thank you. I'm, I'm proud of you, man. Like, I, thank you, man. Awesome. I, I need something to fire to go get to get higher though. I need something to fight for my feet though to get to get real where I really want to no do. Doubt, but no doubt, one on hip hop. This is Jamel Lamar, Jimmy Jenkins Jr. Y'all yes. keep it all up. You dig? <laughs> I know you do. <laughs>